Lord Stark. Lord Varys, it seems you're my last friend. There are many who still love you, my lord. Why are you here? Have you come to free me? I could, but will I? No. You may live, but the realm will, will bleed because of it when the king takes his revenge. Well, aren't you the good little utilitarian? Indeed. The queen has decided that you can join the Night's Watch. Stripped of all titles, you would love out the rest of your days in exile. Do you think my life is some precious thing to me? Do you think I would throw away my honor just for a few more years of life? What about your daughter's life? What do you think the queen will do whenever she finds out? She wouldn't. Obviously you haven't met May Lannisters, my lord. Fine. I'll do it for my family and for Sansa. I knew you'd see reason, my lord. Ned Stark, forever the altruist. And here I am, on trial for a crime I didn't commit, all because the ki child who sits upon the throne is not the true king and has no blood shared with the late King Robert. I have to give false testimony in order to save my children and my family. My name is Eddard Stark, Lord of Winterfell and Hand of the King. I'm here to confess my treason against King Joffrey. I confess that before Robert Baratheon's body was cold, I plotted to take the throne from his son and true-born heir, Joffrey Baratheon. My mother and my betrothed have asked that I give mercy to this altruist and let him live out his days on the northern wall. But they have the soft hearts of women, and as long as I am king, treason will not be tolerated in this realm. Sir Illyn, bring me his head. Ah, uh, the ethical egoist reaction. Kill an innocent man that poses no threat to the crown with no regard for the wife or child he's leaving behind. Ah, Grandfather Tywin. Nice to see you. Joffrey? Grandfather Tywin? We need to talk about your marriage to the sons of Stark. The Tyrell girl is a much better match. Grandfather, I don't see why I need to marry Marjorie. I've been betrothed to sons of Stark, and we've had so many tender moments together. Who could forget when I ordered Sir Madam of the Kingsguard to beat her in front of my court? You will marry the Tyrell girl because they are the second richest family in Westeros and their food feeds our kingdom. I am the king! Any man that must say he's the king is no true king at all. Now you will marry the Tyrell girl because it's the rational thing to do, and if I need to find you something to torture, I'm sure I can get some dogs. But Grandpa! That's right. I am not tired! Is it? Go to your room! This is Rob Star of Winterfell, King of the North. Lord Frey, I am here to make a peace with you. You forsook your vows and, uh, to marry my daughter and went and married some harlot from the Free Cities. Lord Frey, my wife is not a harlot. I love her very much, irrationally so. She healed me during the recent fighting, and for that I am indebted to her. I know I broke my vow to you and your daughters. But my uncle is prepared to marry one of your daughters in my stead, which will make her Lady of Riverrun, and her sons will be Lord Paramount of the Trident. Dis will you not accept my offer? Despite your irrational love, I suppose I could use more relatives with titles. Thank you, Lord Waddle. We are gathered here today in order to celebrate our faith. Our faith is centered around the seven facets of one true divine. Our true forms, the father, the warrior, the smith, the mother, the maiden, the crone, and the stranger are all parts of one true, all-powerful divine. Wait, aren't those just Plato's world of forms? Blasphemy! Plato was a sinner and his ideas have corrupted us for far too long. Seize him! My friend and most trusted ally, Bruce Bolton. I'm so glad this all worked out. Yes, it's all going perfect, my lord. It seems I've forgotten to give King Robert's wedding gift. I present to you the best band in the Seven Kingdoms.
Lord Bolton, don't you drink? No, my lord, it dulls the senses. That's the point. Such odd music for such a lovely event, don't you think so, Roos? Treachery! Tis a trap by the old and new gods. I will have my vengeance. The Lannister send their regards. I am slain!